Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I'm going to discuss arithmetic series. Arithmetic series refers to the sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence. Here, we typically use two formulas depending on the nature of the given series. For the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence where a sub n is given, we follow the formula s sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n, where a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, a sub n is the nth term, and n is the number of terms. Say for example, what is the sum of the first 10 terms of an arithmetic sequence if its first term is negative 5 and 10th term is 58? So as you have noticed, first term is given, that is negative 5, 10th term is 58, and n or the number of terms that we need to get the sum is also given, that is 10. Following the formula, we have s sub 10 is equal to 10 over 2 times quantity negative 5 plus 58. Performing the operation, 10 divided by 2, that is 5, negative 5 plus 58 is positive 53. Multiplying 5 and 53 gives us a product of 265. Hence, the sum of the first 10 terms of the given arithmetic sequence is 265. Another example, find the sum of the finite arithmetic sequence whose first term is negative 3 and 12th term is 19. For this item, since it is a finite sequence, all we need to do is to get the sum of the first term up to the 12th term. First term is negative 3, 12th term is positive 19, and n there would be positive 12. The sum of the first 12 numbers is equal to 12 over 2 times the quantity negative 3 plus 19. 12 divided by 2 is positive 6. Negative 3 plus 19 is positive 16. Multiplying those two numbers will give a product of 96. Hence, the sum of this finite arithmetic sequence is 96. Next, for sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence where a sub n is not given. So here, what we will do is to combine the formula for the a sub n term of an arithmetic sequence and the arithmetic series formula. a sub n formula is given by a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Recall that the common difference is obtained when you subtract succeeding terms by the preceding term. For the arithmetic series formula, we have s sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. So here, we will just substitute a sub n formula for the arithmetic sequence. We'll now have n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus the value of a sub n is the same as a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Putting that in the equation, we'll have plus a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Notice that you can combine a sub 1. So the formula now would be transformed to a sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity 2a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. As an example, let's say find the sum of the first 25 terms of the arithmetic sequence 17, 22, 27, 32, and so on and so forth. To use the formula, we first need to know what is the first term that is already given in the problem, that's 17, n, which is the number of terms, it is already stated. We need to find the sum of the first 25 terms, so n is positive 25. Common difference, you need to subtract succeeding terms by the preceding term. Let's take the first two terms, that would be 22 minus 17. So the common difference of this sequence is positive 5. 
substituting all of those values to our formula, we would now have the sum of the first 25 terms, S sub 25th, is equal to 25 over 2 times quantity 2 times positive 17 plus quantity 25 minus 1 times 5. There we will have 25 over 2. 2 times positive 17 gives us a product of 34. 25 minus 1 is 24 times 5, that is 120. Adding 34 and 120 gives us a sum of 154. Multiplying 25 over 2 by 154 gives us a product of 1,925. Hence, the sum of the first 25 terms of this sequence is 1,925. Another example, a conference hall has 20 rows of seats. The first row contains 20 seats. The second row contains 22 seats. Third row contains 24 seats and so on. How many seats are there in the conference hall? Here, N or the number of terms represents the number of rows. So N will be equal to 20. First term is the number of seats on the first row. So A sub 1 is 20. Now for the common difference, we will subtract the number of seats on the second row by the number of seats on the first row. That is 22 minus 20 or positive 2. Putting all of these values in our formula, that is S sub 20 is equal to 20 over 2 times the quantity 2 times positive 20 plus quantity 20 minus 1 times positive 2. That is also equivalent to 20 divided by 2 is positive 10. 2 times positive 20 is positive 40. 20 minus 1 is 19 times positive 2, that is 38. Adding the items inside the symbol of groupings, 40 plus 38, that is 78. Multiplying that sum by positive 10 gives us a value of 780. Hence, there are 780 seats in the conference hall. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless.